Alright y'all, hear me out. Shane is the best spouse in Stardew Valley. But Sodder, he's rude. Yeah, you would be too if some bright-eyed, bushy-tailed farmer ran up to you at 7am yapping your ear off. When I heard about 1.6 giving us the Meadowlands farm, which comes with a coop and two chickens on day one, I knew I had to do another run where I marry Shane for the 20th time. But I can't help but wonder, is it possible to ask Shane to be our boyfriend before the end of spring using just the eggs we received from our coop? That's what we'll be figuring out today, so buckle up. Before 1.6, we already knew it was possible to give him a bouquet and show our romantic interest at 8 hearts before spring ended, thanks to the fact that Shane's birthday falls on spring 20 and the flower dance falls on spring 24, two events that give a massive amount of friendship points. This is usually done by giving Shane two gifts per week, consisting of beer and pizza, plus talking to him daily after waiting outside Marnie's ranch for hours on end. Now, I don't know about y'all, but after romancing and marrying Shane, hmm something like 20 times. I feel a little icky giving him beer now. Today's challenge is also going to feature a no beer run with Shane to make it extra difficult. In order to ask out Shane, we must hit 2,000 total friendship points with him, which equals eight hearts. And that might seem like a lot, but listen, he deserves it. If you don't know the general gist of what accumulates friendship points, I'm going to give you a quick breakdown. Talking to someone every day will, will reward us 20 points per day, 560 points in a month. However, be warned that each day not talking to a villager will slightly decrease their friendship because they think you're leaving them on red and ghosting them. Each week we can give two gifts to someone and the reward will vary if it's a gift they like or a gift they love. So go ahead and throw out your green algae and extra clay, he's not interested. Since we'll be giving eggs from our coop, it's important to also mention that there's a multiplier according to the quality of the eggs. Shane likes eggs, but he doesn't love them. So a higher quality egg is necessary to get more points to complete this challenge. Silver Star will give us a plus 10% boost, Gold Star will give us a plus 25% boost, and Iridium Star will give us a plus 50% boost. On the Sunday of each week, if we gave two gifts the previous week, we will get plus 10 points as a bonus for giving the maximum number of gifts. On a villager's birthday, there is a huge multiplier that rewards 640 points for a gift they love or 360 for a gift they like. Even if we give a villager two gifts that week already, we can still give them a birthday gift, allowing us to gain even more points that week. Nothing like a birthday celebration to encourage min-maxing. Completing quests for villagers will also reward us 150 points, but that's only if they actually post on the board. Seriously, it seems like it's only Demetrius and Linus hogging that thing. The introduction quest that's given on day one, where we need to run around endlessly and introduce ourselves to everybody in the town, will reward us 100 friendship points per person after completion. We won't be able to complete this challenge without getting these points. With all of that said, let's get started. If you don't know me, I'm Sodder. I'm new to making YouTube videos, so I'd really appreciate any comments with feedback if you've got any. On day one, we're going to make sure we give our chickens lots of kisses and affection, and make sure we do that every single day in order to raise up their affection for for us. This will increase the quality of the eggs we receive from them. They're still chicks, so we can't get any eggs just yet, but that's okay. We have until Saturday every week to give Shane two gifts, so we can wait a few days. We'll focus on talking to all of the villagers, including Shane, to complete the introduction quest. This took a day or two, especially with characters like Sebastian and Leah, who like to play hide and seek with the farmer. They eventually made their way to the saloon to socialize, and since we were there to see Shane anyways, the quest is complete. Ah, that reminds me. Talking to Shane once per day will grant us 20 points, but if we talk to a character when they're in the middle of a special animation, like exercising or working at Jojo Mart, we're only going to get 10 points. I know this seems like a small difference, but it really adds up and this tip will end up saving us. We're going to spend our days doing a few key things. We're not doing a speed run or min-maxing anything, just taking it easy and being sure to keep up with certain things each day. Giving our chickens kisses, collecting their eggs when we can, doing something to make some money, and talking to Shane every day. For the money making, no need to sweat it or go try hard mode. The bouquet only costs 100 gold. Now, I do recommend saving up at least 1200 gold as well, but we'll get to that later. I decided to do some light farming with just some parsnips throughout this challenge. Around spring five, our chickens gave us silver star eggs. By the end of the first week, we were able to give Shane one regular egg and one silver star egg, giving us 94.5 friendship points just from the gifts alone. At this point in the challenge, on Sunday, spring seven, we have 344.5 points, which is a little over one heart as each heart heart is 250 points. Week two begins and we continue with our routine. Sometime during this week, we receive
receive one gold star egg as well as one silver star egg. These will be Shane's gifts for the week. We also have the egg festival that falls on Saturday the 13th where we made sure to talk to Shane as this counts towards the daily talking points received. And then promptly snatched eggs away from little children so we could get a gimmicky hat. On Sunday spring 14 we now have 600.25 points which is a little over two hearts. Halfway through the month and only two hearts? Don't panic we literally just moved in and we're still getting settled. We've got this. Week three begins and this is a big week. Shane's birthday falls on the 20th. We continue our routine and we receive one gold star egg and one silver star egg just like last week. If we do happen to receive two eggs that our gold star it'd be even better and it would give us a little bit of wiggle room but we're working with what we have now i've got some bad news i did the math and i tested it out if we give a gold star egg to shane as his birthday gift we will fail this challenge as we won't have enough friendship points to ask him out before spring ends i guess shane doesn't like chickens that much we'll still be able to ask him out in the first week of summer but that's not what this challenge is about if we continue this way we'll only be able to get 1721.75 points by the end of spring remember that 1200 gold we set aside we splurged a little for his birthday and grabbed a pizza from the saloon and grabbed one more for later too shane is a king and deserves to be treated as such after all this is a gift that he loves and we will be rewarded with 640 points rather than 360. This is going to add a little over two hearts with Shane at this point, giving us a total of 1240.25 friendship points, which will unlock Shane as a dance partner at the Flower Festival. The rest of this week will be spent talking to him and continuing our routine, and by Sunday, Spring 21, we have 1496 points, or about five hearts. Week four, our last week. On Monday, give Shane a gold star egg, and on Tuesday, a three-day-old pizza. We continue our routine and talk to him every day. At the Flower Festival, we talk to him a few times, and we're able to ask him to the dance he says yes we have a grand old merry time and he rewards us 250 points after the festival we talk to him every day and finally on saturday the 27th we finally hit 2002 points that's right we barely made it we are hanging by a thread and shane is holding a pair of scissors if shane doesn't receive at least two pizzas by the end of spring we cannot romance him he's just like me for real for real jokes aside we cannot complete this challenge without giving him a gift he loves on his birthday and a gift he loves sometime before the end of spring tomorrow on sunday the 28th we will wake up to a letter from pierre explaining that we can now buy a bouquet grab that and ask out shane challenge complete except not really i did the math there is simply no way to romance shane by the end of spring with only eggs from our coop if you're committed to romancing him with only eggs it'll have to be during the first week of summer now there are a few things that were left out we never ended up getting a quest from him off of the bulletin board despite me checking every single day that would have awarded us 150 points making it so that we can give him two eggs in the last week rather than one egg and one pizza i also never got a chance to do his six heart event which you don't need to do to ask someone out but it would have given us 10 points which doesn't sound like a lot but it could have given us some more wiggle room with that said i hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching this is all new territory for me as i'm used to streaming pixel art and stardew valley on twitch so if you've got some feedback or suggestions for the next video be sure to leave a comment down below and make sure to subscribe to catch my next video i'll be making more stardew valley videos so keep an eye out see y'all next time bye